Hi, so I'm going to show you the, the current program. Um, as you can see, I already have the, the device in my hand. Um, so the bandages are actually holding the battery, uh, so I don't need to use the, the band. Um, before, in the, um, I, I couldn't uh, move that much my, my arm because it was painful, but now it's getting better. Probably the next week um, they're going to take them off. Uh, still, uh, I don't have to move that much to the hand, but uh, now I think it's better. So what are you uh, seeing here on the screen is the current layout of the program. Um, and these three graphs uh, contain the, the, the data from the IMU. Uh, here I have the calculated all the degrees and the linear acceleration uh, that I uh, calculated also from uh, these three elements. Um, here I have the, um, a canvas uh, that will display the character that I'm going to draw. And I have two methods now. Uh, uh, the first one is the using the, the, the distance, the velocity, and then the distance with the double integration. Um, but I also try uh, this one uh, using only the, the angles. And I thought that it was going to be good because uh, I can show some feedback in real time. I can show how actually the, the, the drawing is being um, traced. Uh, and in the position, it, it is only shown after the sample is taken. Uh, and uh, it is much more stable uh, with the, using only the orientation angles uh, method. Uh, but uh, still, I have some improvements. Uh, with the position method, I'm gonna show you uh, both. And, and it is little menu that I have here, um, just some buttons to, to connect the device, to stop, uh, to, to start the recording, to stop the recording and to disconnect the device. Here I can rename uh, the, um, the lock of the traces of the recording and the picture that's gonna be saved automatically from here. And here I have three methods uh, the one that you're looking uh, right now is uh, from the MathFit filter, the one that I, uh, that I uh, uh, was trying before. I have the uh, complementary filter and the orientation that is already given uh, by the device. Mm. Okay, let me show you a sample uh, uh, first uh, with, the, with the MathFit filter. So this is the number two. Um, I think it's okay um, how it was displayed with the with the distant methods and uh, and also with the with the angles. Number three. This one it was not that good. Mm -hmm. I should here still it was good. So sometimes. It is better with the position here, but in general, it's better with the with the angles. Let me try another one. Uh, maybe number four. Okay. And well, that that was with the matrix filter. Now with the complementary filter. Let me try again with the number two. <clears throat> so here with the with the complementary filter, um, actually the, the display character is better using the position method instead of the angle method, um, and I believe this is because. Um, when trying to plot using the angles, as, as we can see here in, in, in this graph, uh, if I try to make a movement, we see these little peaks. Um, so, for example, if I try to go up, it's going to go after that. They're going up, down, and down, uh, after going down, up. So, I think, uh, but for the position method, uh, it uh, that effect doesn't matter. And now with the sensor orientation, 
I'm going to try and hold back too. Okay, this is not good with the... Okay. So, I, I feel that it's uh, the, the plotting with the sensor. Yeah. It's much better in both methods using the orientation given by the sensor. Um, and um, I can also try using the little switch from the, the device to uh, try to record the, um, a picture that uses more than two traces. Let me try with the letter T. This. But the letter T, or also with the number seven. So out of the three methods, mm, the orientation uh, mode already given by the sensor is the best one. Um, the matrix filter, I believe it's good. Uh, unfortunately, it's also really uh, uh, prompt uh, to, to the change in the uh, results due to some noises and uh, from the magnetometer, oh, that's how that's what I read about. Um, sometimes I feel that uh, the readings are not correct when I get close to the device to some uh, uh, to the computer. And so maybe something is affecting uh, there. And let me show you the logs that are recorded uh, already here. So for example, if I open this one, so this was one of the pictures that I uh, recorded and that was saved automatically. So it saved the picture and the data regarding to that one. Okay. Thank you.